is it? I need it. What is it? Okay, shall we do it? Hello everyone, welcome to a very special episode today where I get to meet three super inspirational gentlemen from local to where I work in Cobham. They are the faces behind Harrison's Fund, which is a, a big operation now, a big charity doing lots of great things to help solve what is known as Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Um, we're going to learn about what that condition is in this video today when I speak to Harrison himself, his brother Will and their dad Alex about how the fund was set up, how they went through um, an amazing Ironman together. Um, I'll let him tell the story on that one. And the money they've raised so far to help hopefully solve this condition, which at the moment affects about one in three and a half thousand young boys in this country um, and is unsolvable at this, this moment in time. They need the money to fund the research that goes behind it um, and they want to be able to fix it. So they're doing tremendous work. I think you'll definitely be inspired from listening today. I certainly was. And... We're doing lots of work with Harrison's Fund this month in February. Uh, it starts with this, raising awareness. We've done stuff with people that raise money with them. And we're also going to donate one pound of every membership fee that goes into our workout club to Harrison's Fund this month. So I'm really super behind this initiative. And I hope that after listening today, you hopefully feel a bit inspired to help them too. Harrison'sFund.com is the website. Check it out after you've listened to this. Strap in. It's inspirational. Hello. Hey, how are you doing, Frank? Very good, very good. Can you tell us about Harrison's Fund, what it's doing, what it's done so far, and what we can do to help this month? Right, so Harrison's Fund, we founded, I have founded Harrison's Fund in 2012, January 2012, after Harrison was diagnosed actually on this day, the 25th of January 2011. Uh, so he was diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy, and it's a, it's a muscle wasting disease. Um, Boys with Duchenne, it's 99% boys, 1% girls who get, who, uh, who get Duchenne or have Duchenne. Um, they, are, uh, they don't produce a protein called dystrophin, and the dystrophin protein acts as like a, a shock absorber in your muscles. And without the shock absorber, your muscles get damaged. Um, so his muscles are damaged and they uh, get weaker and weaker over time. Um, so in 2012, we decided to do something about, try and do something about that. And we founded Harrison's Fund. Uh, so we're a medical research charity. And uh, all we do is fund research into Duchenne. Um, so far, we've raised about two and a half million pounds. And um, we've been funding 22 different projects around the world with some of the best researchers in, in the business. And we're getting closer, but we're, we're not there yet. We just need more help, which is why it's wonderful to have you on board for February to, to help us raise awareness and raise money and really make a difference to a generation of children like Harrison. Do you know how many are the percentage chance of having Duchenne? Yeah, so it's, it's one in every three and a half thousand male live births and that's throughout the world. So a current best estimate is there's between a quarter of a million, sorry, between 250,000 and 300,000 um, children with Duchenne in the world at the moment. So and in the UK, no. we're talking uh, two and a half thousand. There is no solution as we sit here. There's no, there's no one-shot cure. No, there's lots of lots of research happening in lots of different areas, and all of those can help. But we're not at the point yet where we've uh, in the UK got um, anything significant that can that can help. Yeah. Which is why we're here. That's why you're raising exactly. all this money. I mean, it's incredible that money you raised. Yeah. Thank you. Should we start with the Iron Man you did? You know, that obviously yeah. was part of the raising. Who wants to tell me about that? Shall I start and then you can, both can jump in? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you f <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I've done a few, but I also I really wanted to do one with Harrison. So I, I don't know if everyone knows what an Ironman is, but it's, it's a swim, a bike and a run. Um, but it's a, a 3.8 kilometre swim, a um, 112 mile or 180 kilometre bike ride and then a, a full marathon at the end. Um, you're doing back to back, you have to do them in a certain amount of time for each effort, for each section, um, otherwise you get timed out. So we had to work really hard to get to one where we were taking Harrison around with me, um, ably supported by this one, team, team support. Um, Big Will. <laughs> yeah. So we had a, 
a, a catamaran built, so an 11 foot catamaran which attached around my waist. And Harrison sat on that for the swim, two laps of a, uh, a rather large lake. What was that, comfortable? Yeah. On his iPad. He was okay. He was on his iPad a lot of it. He <laughs> was okay. So while your dad's swimming away there, yeah. you were playing, what were you playing on your iPad? <laughs> Just noises? Yeah. <laughs> well, you got to entertain YouTube. yourself. Motivational videos. Yeah. YouTube. Yeah. yeah. And ha how long does it take, that swim? Because I know the distance. Uh, but we did that in one hour and 35 minutes. Which sounds... Uh, it's a long time to swim, but it sounds like quite a quick way. Yeah, no, it was, it was quicker than I'd swum by myself before, actually, funny enough, that day. I think it was just adrenaline really got going. Um, so we did that, and then we got out and uh, got ready to get on the bike. Hooked him up to the back of the, the bike on his trailer. Had a big trailer made, but it had it made out of carbon fibre to make it, make it light. And then, um, yeah, 112 miles, 180 kilometres. Um, which was a long way. Yeah, I bet your fires were burning, weren't they? Yeah, they were. Yeah. They were. Every, well, everything hurt, actually. Just going up or down, going up or down anything is hard. Um, it's a strain going downhill, and it's 1% uphill is just heavy when you've got it was basically 50, 57 kilos being um, dragged behind you. But on the flip side, Harrison, that must be, that must be fun. Yeah. Apart from, what do you think was the funniest thing about following me on the bike? Um, I could see your bottom. You could see my bottom. I never asked if yes. you were as well. Uh, no, there wasn't. Yes. Any... Oh, yes, no, I do. Yes, I might have sworn a few times. <laughs> and luckily you didn't do this in my face. No, I didn't do that in your face. No. <laughs> William, where were you at this point when they're rocketing around in the bike? Uh, I mean, I obviously didn't, didn't know where they were most of, of the time. I uh, followed them on the um, on the swim. I uh, saw him change into the bike, um, and then uh, at, at the end, actually, um, I decided to run the last few, I don't know, steps, whatever. Last couple of hundred yards, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So I, so I decided to run with them. Well, it's the hardest bit, that last bit. <laughs> so you pulled them through. Yeah. So you fin helped us finish it off, didn't you? Yep. How did that feel? I'll start with you, Harrison. How was that when you got over the line? Good. Felt great. What did you think of your dad? Yeah. Did you think he'd make it? Were you surprised or were you like, knew he had it in the bag? No, I wasn't surprised. I wasn't yeah. surprised. Yeah. Yeah. I think the, the loveliest thing about, cross, well, one, having them cross the line with me, that was amazing. The, um, uh, the lady who won the the female Ironman race that day, and the, the guy who won, both stayed out to see us finish. Oh, and they, they, they gave us the medals. And they'd finished like six and seven hours earlier. So, oh, you know, they, it shows what yeah. a kind of an amazing family Ironman and triathlon can be. Yeah. It's great to have so much support in it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you deserve it, you do deserve it. Thank you. Um, obviously raised some money that day. We know lots of people locally, and that's how I've heard of you is through different fundraising yeah. events that you do. I mean, you are amazing. Two and a half million pounds, you said. Yeah. I mean, that's like, that's a lot of money. I mean, it's, 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 you know, we're, we're incredibly grateful because we wouldn't have been able to do this without the support that we've, we've had. And that's from, from locally and you know, much further afield as well. Um, the, there was a documentary made about the, the stuff that we've done, and um, we've had donations from all over the world off the back of, back of seeing that. Um, so we've been, yeah, we've been very fortunate. Um, but I think we've got a story that's kind of inspiring for others and um, hopefully we can inspire people to do a bit more and help yeah. us really get to the, uh, to the end of, one, making me redundant, because I'd like to be redundant and I don't have to do this job anymore, because I'll have achieved what I wanted to achieve. Um, I can move on to whatever else is coming next for us. What can we do best to help the Harrisons Fund? Other than fundraising, because obviously fundraising is a is a key part, but is there anything else we can do yeah. to help? <clears throat> really simple stuff like following us on all our social channels, so getting in touch with us on our YouTube, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Don't we don't much, do Snapchat, do You we? don't have much YouTube. I have a whole YouTube channel. Not a lot. Yeah, you have a YouTube channel, really but there's... 300 views. But there hasn't Sorry. really been much else on there yet. Oh, you're obviously not looking at the right stuff. 
I am. I'm looking at YouTube. It has some fun. There isn't. It's got it's your like movie on there. Yeah, but it hasn't got. Like it. Do I need still, to employ you as my new social social person? It still hasn't really been anything put on there for a while. <laughs> this is for another discussion. <laughs> Team meeting later. Beyond that, getting their um, their companies or their employers involved as well. Um, there's pairs you earn. Uh, there's charities of the year. All of them help us in, in small ways and, and large ways alike. Got it. And also, if you go to fitwithfrank.com now, in February, do it quick, we're donating for every membership. Nice. We're going to give a pound to Harrison's fund. And we're going to put your name up and links onto the YouTube because Harrison wants to. There's my social on Instagram. <laughs> at SmithyHJJ. Yep. Is that the one you told me you earlier people was over there. <laughs> yeah. Go and request. <laughs> yep. Thanks, Thanks boys. I um, appreciate your time. Thanks for being honest. Thanks for yeah. still being friends, hopefully, after this. Hope the team meeting goes well later. Yeah. And anyone listening, go and check them out. Harrison's Fund all over the place. And remind me of your and one. Smithy HJJ on Instagram. <laughs> At Fit with Frank. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Thanks for coming, guys. This has been, this is my crib. This has been my crib. See you later, guys. We'll see you later.